everyone, Mr. DVB here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how you can use your PS5 DualSense controller on the PlayStation 4 system with vibration enabled. Now, back on the PS3 console, you were able to use the DualShock 4 on the uh, PS4, or on the PS3, I should say. All you had to do was either put the controller in Bluetooth pairing mode or plug it in using a USB charger. That is not how it works on the PS4. Um, if you want to use the DualSense controller, it's a bit different than that. It's a bit more of a complicated setup, but it's not anything too bad. Um, really, I you know I really wanted to just test out this controller and find out how it feels in game. And uh, to my luck, I got it to work, but also with vibration, which I was not expecting because back on the PS3, there was no vibration with the PS4 controller. So, just very quickly, this is proof that it does work. I'm not just a hoax. Um, so right here we have the Last of Us Part Two. Um, two people back here. I'll throw a bomb back there. Right? Proof that all this works. Pick up the hammer. I don't know, if you guys want me to like throw the bomb at my feet maybe. Like I don't know what kind of proof you guys need. And it works. I'll even go to the home menu. See? All of my stuff. Focus on the TV. See? Everything here is working. So, how you get this to work, it's, uh, like I said, not too hard. First of all, you need a dual sense controller, obviously. Uh, then you're gonna want a USB-C charger. I'm literally using the one that came with my Nintendo Switch. Uh, you're going to plug it into your laptop, and then you just need to use the PlayStation Remote app. The focus is absolutely garbage. You need to use the PlayStation Remote app, which you can just download onto your laptop or whatever. And then, yeah, uh, once you have that downloaded, you can just go online and get it. Just search up PlayStation Remote Play. Uh, download, go to the PlayStation website, download it. You then plug in the controller, like I said, using the USB-C cord. And yeah, you'll be able to play. As you guys can see, when I move this, moves on there. Um, I'm looking at my TV when I'm playing. I'm obviously not looking at my laptop because this is worse quality. There's not even really a bunch, uh, there's not really any input lag either. It's not like, you know, you have to get really used to it being behind or anything. It's pretty much on time like that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a super minor amount of input lag, like 0.2 milliseconds or some shit, but it's nothing noticeable. Um, so yeah, and like I said, vibration is enabled. So you'll actually, when I was playing Last of Us, you know, shooting enemies, you'll feel the vibration in your controllers, which is nice. Obviously, it's not going to be, you know excuse me, uh, haptic feedback or anything because that's just not something that exists on the PlayStation 4. Um, but it is nice that you still get the vibration. It's not like you're just playing with the controller and not really getting a full controller experience. Um, so yeah, that's all you have to do. It's pretty simple. Um, when you log on to the PS Remote Play thing, it'll try to find a nearby PlayStation 4. It'll connect to yours and whatnot. And that's really all you have to do. So if you guys have any questions down below, just let me know and I will be sure to help you guys out. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.